think we're we good. That's all good. Turn that. Not put the timer. On. Timer on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another episode, and they are episodes of the Lack of Focus show, and it is a show, <laughs> and it is a show. Yeah. Um, like and subscribe, hundred percent. That's we've got. A, I mean, you have to um, because. Got 35 already. Yeah, all, all, like all of all of your support really, really matters to us. Um, and I know it small, seems like a small thing, but it really, it really does make a difference. Um, on that, I've been looking at some uh, some analytics, right? Go deep di- deep diving on the analytics, and <laughs> you're in trouble. Um, out of the views we get, what percentage would you say comes from subscribers? What percentage? Oh. 45. Less! Less! <laughs> Less! Right? Do you know what the number is? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's 21%. Do you know what that means? That Do you know what we means? have legitimate fans. No, do, who no, aren't no. What? what that means is. I don't know of, what analytics I, is. I, 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 okay. What, so that, what that means a, is. That's a big, big stepping stone for me to well, overcome. Well, I'll tell you. Go on. What that means is, right? Out of all of you, you viewers, even though we've said multiple times, like and subscribe, right? We've said that. We've said that many times, right? Put it up here. You've refused to subscribe. It means that loads of people watching aren't subscribing, right? So what you're doing, right, by doing that, and I was very clear very early on. I was very, very clear early on. The only reason we're doing this is for that bread. Do you know bump, what I'm saying? Because bump, bump again, some burner, nice little burner. Exactly. So, right. So. We've, we don't want to be doing this. No, right? God, no. Oh. We've got a TV show. That's important. That you, yeah, we've That's got, important yeah, to very really key. get, get that key. across. We've got a TV show that you don't, you don't want to watch. You don't want to watch. You don't want to fund in any capacity. Yeah. Just You could fund it by watching it, couldn't you? you could, we could write in to BBC executives. We must see Matt and Harvey's TV show. You've not done that, right? So not only that, not only have you not done that, right? You've not subscribed, right? Which is... Theoretically, right? Pre- you're preventing us from earning money to spend on key things and extravagant, extravagant purchases like m- like rent, and it, food, in a way. So actually, by not subscribing, you are, and I don't want to mince my words here. Mm. You you are starving us to death. You surprised me because I didn't think you would be able to say it as eloquently as you just have, but. Um... Yeah, spot on. A, a, re- a reason as to why I mean I can't. It is food out of our mouths. But if I, I can't genuinely, um, the, the reason why I don't think people people are subscribing is the same reason why I don't subscribe to things on YouTube, and mm. I don't. Why would I? Why would I? Um, what is that re- reason? To, uh, I don't have a YouTube account. Okay, firstly, if you if you don't have a YouTube account, grow up. Yeah, right. I'm actually quite a big star on YouTube as well. Yeah. So I I do this. I don't know if I've mentioned it. Go on. I do this thing for the for Mercedes Benz. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, um yeah. and and um I get I it is, and that's on a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. And I I go through the comments sometime and uh, whilst we want more of that. I, I say I go through the comments sometimes. I every time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after every single one's released, yeah, I go yeah. through the the hundreds of comments. Yeah. 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 The majority of them are love you Mercedes, you're so great. Yeah, great right? car. Great car, love it. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. A, about a it. few of them a few of them are really are, are, are like, oh this guy's good, right? But there are also the odd one that sneak in who are just just straight mean. And uh, and really yeah, mean. And it's it's you know, I would never reply to the nice ones because I'm not a narcissist. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, give me more of that. Cheers. Um I I, I, I would love to reply with sort of some sort of like threatening death. Death note or something to the, to the people that are saying like oh really I'll read one out to you actually yeah go on yeah we've got time I've got, got time. one I've got one to hand so yeah. you know why wouldn't I yeah um, this is just of, of, of the recent one go on um, uh, be more positive Matt spelt with one T uh, what he is projecting himself a bit too much for my liking like why is he showing his face every time before showing the cast listen 
I don't edit. You're not direct. I'm not the director. Fucking hell. That's, that's you... mental. Do you know what I mean? And then another one, and this again, just off the top of my head, it just ha- happens to be here. Um, Christoph and Ian are the real reason I'm here. I don't understand what the long haired guy in pyjamas is here for. They're not pyjamas. <laughs> You're not wearing pyjamas. They're not pyjamas. They're not pyjamas, boys. It's called fashion, and they should look it up. Exactly. Anyway, listen, I'm Jesus not. Christ. I'm, what I'm saying is, I don't have a YouTube account, otherwise, I would be replying to those people. You'd be in the trenches, wouldn't you? Oh. In those comment sections. That's You can't be in the comment sections. Unless you're on our video. Get in the comments. Because I, I will be replying to every single message that you, you write. You do, in there. you do, don't you? I do actually. There's yeah. only been two, but There's he has two. replied but, to them. Yeah, both of those. Both yeah. of those. Um, so yeah, if to everyone watching, you really need to raise your game because at the moment it's really unacceptable. And I've got the analytics to back that up. Analytics. So, so that's that's a word that I've used. Um, on that note, and talking of the fans. Go on. Um, and how they need to grow up. Um, we've had some fan mail. Genuinely, we've had two fan mails. Two fan mails. So one of them was. I do have questions about this. One of them was on an email. I, I was going to say I do have questions about how they okay. found your okay. address. So well, one of them was an email. Well, could they ask me? And I ah. just gave it up. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. It could be anyone. <laughs> it could be anyone turning up. <laughs> Hand it out. Yeah. With fucking. No, just yeah. Okay. So Go on. the first one is via the emails the online. Yep. And the second one was a physical letter. Very nice, and I'll um, I'll explain it to you. So the first one, yeah, I'll read it out. Yeah. So, uh, first one is, um, um, dear Matt and Harvey. Let's put your name first. I just, listen. No, I it's did, interesting. It's yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's interesting <laughs> because we sit in the wrong order. No, I tell you, I tell you why that's. Do you know why I'd rather have sat here, but we've done it the wrong way around? Because well, I look better. This this is a better side of my face. That's this, why I've this sat does here. nothing for that's me. That's why I've sat here. This does nothing for me. This <laughs> is good for me. So I, the reason why I don't look at you much in this podcast is because I need to cheat my face. Yeah, this you way. have to. Yeah, this is, it's important. Um. Anyway, dear Matt and Harvey, again. Right. Um. Yeah. Alphabetically, what comes first? What comes first? H or M? Right. I'm just saying. M, no. No, H. No, H. I'm just saying. (laughs) Right? So, why would you... Words are my tool. Exactly, exactly. (laughs) Get it together. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, Get it together. um, Really enjoy the show. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Um, I really, really enjoy uh, your review, your movie review segments. And we've not really... We talk about, you know, Goldeneye. Yeah. Um, You were very handsome. (laughs) Wow. Which, which one is you? You. Cheers. No, you. No, you. It says Matt and Harvey. Obviously, so, yeah. So. The royal you. That's them saying it. Not that's not us saying it. That's them saying else. it. Yeah. Um, Apart from store modelling, by the way. Go fuck yourselves. Oh really? Um, what, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Um. Um. What is this saying? Wait, wait, I've lost my place. I was sixteen. I'm over it. But it's yeah. not. Do you know what I mean? I've I've never. I've gone into one modelling agency once. Horrible, in my life, right? And it's just like. Awful, awful. It's like, what are you doing here? It's like, yeah. well, I was because you, I saw someone in the street and they said, come in. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really derailing us. Uh, Go yeah, back yeah. to the fan mail. Fan mail. Yeah. Um, um, hopefully, you can spend more time on the movie set. Well, why are you? We're not looking we're for not, tips. This isn't. Uh, we're yeah. not looking for direction. <laughs> come on. Um, um, all the best, and hope you have a good 2021. Yours sincerely. Whenever that may be, yeah. whenever that may yeah. be, twenty twenty one. That could be yeah. in years from now. We don't. Yeah, this person's land us right in it. That's meant. Well, um, you've all, not really. I'm reading it out. It's two thousand six. Exactly. Yeah, twenty twenty. That's mad. When it's are we? Why, it's why they're this weird. Um, yours sincerely, P Brosnan. <laughs> um, so, ah, oh, just he fan got us again. Just a fan there. Just a he fan got there. us yeah. again. Just, a, just a nice fan. <laughs> You know? When is he getting on the show? Thank man? you, Pierce. When is he going to come? So, in? So and the, guy, the second fan mail yeah. is actually a mail. I'm not going to read it out just because it, it goes on. Um, <laughs> it's a real. So this guy, um, I, I mean, I'll, I'll give him a shout out. George Bothamley, um, very very nice guy. He wrote in just basically saying that he's he's a he's a, 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 a big big huge fan. Okay, huge fan. But. Um, I'm a big fan of collaboration. Yep. Collaboration. Collaboration. Yep. Sharing. Yeah, sharing. Collaboration. Collaborating. Not a word for it. And he's he's written two books. Nice. He sent me two free copies of his books. Okay. Now I've I've read one of them. I say read, skimmed, and I'm halfway through the other. The first one is called A Course in Stoicism. Um, 
It's kind of a collection of philosophical quotes um, based around Stoicism. Now, if you compile a list of quotes, have you really written a book? <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> right? <laughs> just saying, like, you know, in, in his letter, he said, you know, when he reached out to me, he said he'd written two books, he's just put together um, quotes. <laughs> Obviously, it takes work, and a lot of the quotes are fucking. Don't brilliant. backtrack now. I, I'm not going to backtrack. I'm going to go in hard. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, second one, um, it's called the Diary of an Old Drunk, and so this one's a bit confusing. I don't remember writing a book. This this one's a bit. <laughs> no, this no. This is this could be you. I'm joking. I don't. This actually work. no. This could be you. Um, Jesus, I I'll tell you why. I tell you why. Go on. And again. It's kind of, I don't really understand what it is because it's a bit of like gonzo writing, I guess, on, on one, one aspect. Yeah. But on the other, it, like he, he's said at the beginning, oh, I found, um, I found a book, um, a, a leather-bound book when I was at a bus stop or, and, uh, and it just had all these entries in which I'd copied into the book and then I threw it away. So it's like, well, so what are you saying that you didn't write this and you found it and you just transcribed it? Is that... Either way, there's two books here that I've got questions about. Um, Do you know what I'm saying? If that is the case, then I'm pretty sure, and I'm not exaggerating, that Kanye West did the same thing with the song Stronger from me. Yeah, from you. Did he? What, you wrote it down and then threw it into, you put it in a bottle, I suppose, and just threw it out to sea. <laughs> Listen, he, it wasn't even, I didn't even write it down, but I thought, I thought. Of the song? Yeah. And then, like, days later, heard it. Yeah. It's plausible that I heard it on the radio before it went out, but listen. I wrote um, NSYNC Pop. Never heard of it. NSYNC have two songs, a three if you include Girlfriend with Nelly. Yeah. Which is a banger, which yeah. you can't find anywhere, by the way. I also wrote Rock With You by Michael Jackson. What a <laughs> Just saying. I thought of it first. <laughs> um, listen, genuinely, thank you for sending in your... Um, yeah, we need to stop hitting the table, I reckon. I reckon. I do that so You much. do it a lot, but I think <laughs> it's just going to just cause chaos for anyone that's listening to this. Well, um, hopefully they're watching on their TVs. Uh, so so just, to, just to wrap up, um, George, thank you very much for, 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 for writing in. And I'm, Sorry, I'm slagging you off so quickly. I'm going to... I know, I know. I'm going I'm to finish both books and... Uh, and I, 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 that so far they're really, really excellent. I'll put a link in the bottom of this video to to George's um, stuff. Thank you uh, very much. I am not a famous reader, George. Um, it may uh, can I just shock you? Uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't read that much. Um, audiobooks, though. Audiobooks a lot, and I've I also, what we do. I've also read Shantaram. Oh, flowery language, Shantaram. I thought took me too much. honestly about three years. Um. One thing I could, we could do, I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah. I'll record it. As an audio book. As an audio and just send it to you. Send it to me. Yeah. Simple. Lovely. All right. Um, how much time we got left? Two minutes, 23 seconds. Oh, great. So look, I think that's a of good- Of the first half, then the we'll come back half. for the- um, Yeah. So that's, that's the intro segment done. Wow. Good intro though. Good intro. Harvey said to me before we sat down, he was like, Can, do you mind if I sort of well, you know, it wasn't even a question. You're like, I'm, I'm, I'll come Tell do you. the intro, and I was like, All right. and then, yeah, I'll tell you now because we're, I'm now in a better mood after you asked <laughs> you me. Um, yeah. Well, uh, look, you know, sometimes you got to take the ball by the horns, so to speak. Yeah. It's not a metaphor. That actually happened. That actually happened. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> but really, <laughs> got some shackles. If you want to shackle up. <laughs> um, we should do. We, you know what? We should talk about. Um, films. You know what I put on um, the other day was the original Spider Man. Tobey Maguire. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a very good movie. Yeah, I, like that. That came out way before the whole comic book thing as yeah, well. Way before. Obviously, the, it was the just films like, that came after that were like Daredevil. Terrible movie. Obviously, terrible, terrible movie. movie. But like, Electra. But doesn't that show you how good the original Spider Man was because of how terrible? All superhero films were yeah. until Batman Begins, I which was think, 05. Which I still was, think Spider Man 2 is the best Spider Man. Movie. Which is with Doc, Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Yes, it is yeah. the best one. Yeah. It's, it is the best one. It's really good. It's really, really good. And they, Phenomenal movie. Phenomenal movie. They've ironed out a lot of things. It's just, if you look back at, if, at Andrew Garfield's whole. It's weird that he had two. It's weird that they did two movies of. of of him of as Spider Man. Awful. Why did they reboot it with that? I the mean, best one was the honest trailers thing, where it's like yeah. Peter Parker was just your average, good looking, tall, charming, skateboarding, <laughs> high school loser. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he literally is just 
unbelievably sick and then become Spider-Man and then just becomes a fucking arsehole. But he's just very Andrew Garfield who I assume, I assume... I, I like Andrew Garfield. I like Andrew Garfield. Oh, I watched the movie. I think he's probably I watched the movie last night. Go very on. good movie. Palm Springs. Have you seen it? No. I, I, I kind of don't want to say too much about it because I went completely blind. Completely blind. But it's... Um, Is it new? It's brand new. Yeah, it came out 2020. 2025. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's really got to be careful. Got to be careful with, with yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, oh, 20. The timer is going off now. Oh, okay. Well, let, look, let's wrap up there. Um, Our heart wasn't in that one for the reviews of the films, was no, it? No, do you know what I mean? We can, we can maybe come back to it later, but maybe not. George, you've made a short shoehorn a, a film review. Yeah. And if I'm being honest, I, it's only funny when I slag off movies and I really enjoyed Spider-Man. Yeah. I know, and also, like, I, I can't labour this point hard enough. Go Please, on. like, if you're watching this and you haven't liked it oh, yeah. or subscribed to it, then you know you, you are literally. Depriving. I really do. You're think, taking food I off. Do, our, I do for, think we should put the hyperlink up here. I can't put the once hyperlink. Once we up put there. the hyperlink up here, stop saying hyperlink. I don't know what hyperlink means. There's no. It's something to click on. But I don't know how to do that. And I think it will look cool if you just. Yeah, I'm sure it will look cool. But that's like saying oh, it would look cool if we had an explosion in the background. I know how to do that. I know how to do that. I can do the hyperlink. All right. All right. Well, look, if there's a hyperlink up there, then Matt has solved it. And if not, then um, here's a video of some explosions. Throw down your weapon and walk towards me. Slowly. Finish the job, James. Blow them all to hell. Welcome back. Thank you for that word from our sponsors. Um, keep up the good work. Mm. Yeah. Um, I know we, we did promise that there would be sort of uh, guests, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. There will be. There will be. Eventually. Just, you know. <laughs> we, to, be, to be honest, it's been quite a while since we did this. It's been, I guess, what, three weeks? Has it really been I three weeks? I think we just took our foot off the gas. Do you know what? That will happen. I don't think there's any consistency. That's, that's important to remember, yeah. So if you're coming here for consistency, you're not. You're not subscribed. So um, got to subscribe. You have to. Who is watching it if they're not the subscribers? I don't know. Because like, we're getting over 100 views now. I know. Which is like, there's a hun- yes. that's 100, 100 people. Or me watching it, sort of. Yeah, I mean, that's fi- 50% of that is me and you being like, <laughs> like sniffing our own farts. <laughs> um, yeah. No, because it, it isn't, because I'm subscribed to my own. I'm not subscribed. See, that's why you because should. I, I don't have a YouTube account. But you've got a Google email. Don't tell everyone that. But it's the... <laughs> It's the same. It's LinkedIn. Do you know how often I get hacked as well? Why? Because I have like I just cycled the same passwords for like eight years. That's now. really silly. You don't just put that on the internet. That's that's. I just do a little bleep bit when they come up to anyway. Oh, yeah. I uh, I tattooed myself. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Will that will that, will that be able to? Will that cool that come probably, up? Uh, yeah, I, think, I reckon that probably read. Yeah. So how, Nash, is, how, it's my, how it's my, is it? It's my dog's name. My dog is 17 and a bit years old. That's mad. It's mad. That's mad. Um, and so I, uh, I thought I, I was always going to eventually get a tattoo done of him, um, yeah. for him or whatever. So I thought might as well do it whilst he's alive, which is a bit, a, a, bit, a bit nicer. Yeah. Um, did it by myself. Did it with a tattoo gun. And if anyone does, let's we'll, we'll, we'll talk about tattoos a little bit. If, yeah. If, if, if you if you are someone who has thought. I'll tattoo myself or like that will look cool on like an Instagram post which by the way it did obviously um, I, I can't I can't rec- I just just don't just just wait for a professional to sort of have give it the once over it Probably. is so fucking difficult to I tattoo d- yourself I, d- I don't think what you just said was controversial there I don't think anyone is l- thinking about tattooing themselves oh okay I don't think I think that's that's fairly mental right I mean you're an outlier I've, you're a bit rock and roll I you're guess you're a bit so. of a loose cannon I guess you're so you're a bit of a a bit of a vibey dude do you know what I mean you're thinking about I'm doing I'm giving myself a prison tat yeah hopefully it's not going to be a cock and balls I don't know I might black out and wake up with cock and balls in my leg yeah. who knows I know. who knows who knows but so you're saying people are just wandering around me and I'm I can't not, wait to get myself a tattoo I've never once really seriously. considered seriously permanently disfiguring myself that's mad yeah right, that is something because I've been thinking about it for it looks cool don't get me wrong it looks alright doesn't it I think tattoos in general. So I, I had, I got a tattoo for the first time. Harvey like, got like the biggest year. fucking tattoo. So I've, I've had, I've started getting tattoos when I was about twenty-five, right? And I have about eight now, right? Yeah. 
But they started in different. You've just gone in about a year ago. He's like, got you, Bentley, you're gonna get a tattoo, and I was like, fantastic. I'll come with you, mate. Like yeah. we're gonna start with. So I started with this little small one here on my arm, and yeah. like just it, show them. Yeah, they've I mean, probably all seen yeah, it. You've probably seen it because I've shown it off. Um, yeah, it, it was good. L- Laura Knox, <laughs> great a tattoo. Serious art. piece there, man. It's a piece. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a few more. I know. Do you, you know what the thing is though? As an actor, Go I was on. always told. Oh, who gives a shit? Don't don't get tattoos. Bollocks. But then I thought about it, and I was like, these are the people that are saying, "Are oh, you not ever allowed to have tattoos?" They're the same people saying you have to have an RP accent. <laughs> Yeah. Well, like, you know, yeah. you, you have to, yeah, it, it's nonsense. Or you, you have to. You need to have a good attitude. Yeah. You, know, you, yeah, you have to ha- You have to be you polite. Just polite. Yeah. You just don't. Um, so, yeah, no, I just thought, oh, do you know what? Fuck, it's not really going to affect my career. <laughs> anyway, is it? So it can't get. It, it can't get any worse. It can't, it can't hinder it anymore. Any yeah, if anything, it might be like, oh, well, I'm looking for a tattooed person. Definitely. So I'm just ticking that I would off. say the long hair hinders us more than the tattoos does. I would say so as well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I would the say tattoos, so. Because the tattoos... Do you know how easy it is to cover up tattoos now? Yeah, anyway. they've got that lovely makeup. Also, I'm of the theory that tattoos aren't permanent either anymore. They're probably not. I think you'd probably be able to... The laser surgery now, I know a few people have had them lasered off. I do as well. And I reckon if you fast forward to 10... Timer, by 10 by the way. Oh, shit. I reckon... I reckon three or four minutes. Doesn't matter, mate. Doesn't matter. I'm still just going to put in... Ten. Ten, yeah, and then we'll just wrap up. We have a shorter one, this. Whatever. So, um, <coughs> would, so your t- tattoos, had, did, when did you realise that you wanted to get tattoos done? Dude, I, was, I wanted to get tattoos when I, was, um, when I was in college. So I would have been, what, like 18, 19. But I just never really had the, number one, the, the, I didn't want them that much. Fine. Number two, they're quite expensive. Yes. It's not like it's not like, and when you're 18, yeah, 100 quid, yeah, is like money, a lot of money. That's like yeah. that's like a month's like like going out or whatever. Yeah, um, particularly I went out I, when I was going, I was going out in like Reading. Yeah, and it was like a pound a pint on Mondays. Oh, so what? like I just get smashed on like fiver because I was a, a small child. Um, <laughs> you're so, you're trying to say that you don't get smashed now? Oh, like? dude, I had two pints like last weekend, flying. and I was flying. I was flying, swinging from the rafters. Well. Um, but I'm cutting back on drink now because I'm trying to get, uh, trying to keep my Beyonce physique. Yeah, I've decided to get into absolutely ridiculous shape. I haven't drank for a while now, and I'm Me continue either. not gonna. I'm con- gonna continue not drinking for a little I, bit. Yeah, oh, man, I've been going to. I've been going to uh, going back to the gym. Um, yeah. And I, I honestly, I, I think this is quite an interesting topic because I don't think we, we we talk about this enough. I think a lot a lot of women talk about how they're like. Are pressured to look a certain way yeah um and, and they are more so definitely than men but to to say that men don't have um issues about about the way they look is 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 fairly ridiculous because i i dude i i like will be so critical of myself you to the point have that body I'm... dysmorphia to an extent bro because i you are harvey is yeah. and i'm not joking in ridiculous shape but you don't believe yourself to be so. No, because I look, dude, I'll stand in front of the mirror, like completely naked and be like, mm, not happy at all. It's mental. It's like, how, like, I need to lose more body fat or I need to um, uh, just get bigger shoulders. Like, like or, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just never really happy. I don't think I've ever really sat down and looked at myself and been like, I'm really happy with how I look. And It's mad. I think I've talked about this before. My relationship with food is really bad. I'm yeah. never, I'm never eating something and going, mm, "That was really good." Everything I eat, I'm like, "Fuck, like, I shouldn't have done eating that much food." Really. Yeah, really. Yeah, unless it's like a salad and I'm starving at the end of it, Jesus. which is which is really not good. And I think the older I get as well, the harder it it is to like get into shape. And like, I think like the older we get as well, we're facing our own mortality to a certain degree, and like not not um, not it, not being able to get into shape as quickly. And that's part of the reason, like not drink. If I drink now, I used to be able to drink and then just go to the gym, and it wouldn't affect my performance mm. at all. But now, if I drink and then go to the gym, I'm fucked. I would I'm be like, able can't... to genuinely walk around pretty much just like half cut mm. for two weeks straight. Like yeah, never probably. really, never yeah. really gaining sobriety. I would just sort of go. Yeah and drink again not as an alcoholic but mm. genuinely just as a young person as young people do do you know what I mean yeah and now yeah not only does alcohol like 
My whole th- in in the TV series Girls, Lena Dunham says, uh, "I don't I I don't work out for my body. I work out for my face." Right, That's and I'm cool, I'm yeah. sort of similar to that. If I what I eat and all the shit that I, it goes to my face. That's yeah, when I start too, yeah. I start looking bad. Right, I'm quite because I'm so ludicrously tall. Yeah, I remain relatively lean the entire time, yeah, so it's not yeah. too bad. But if I now drink, not only does my face you got fucking puffy bad puff skin and shit, and the bags and the mice, which are always quite bad. Like, bruv, the my anxiety from being like hungover and everything now just sits with me for days, man. Like I know what you mean. Days and days and days yeah. and days. Even a little bit of alcohol now. And I can understand why, like so um, what's his name? The uh DJ, Scottish guy, short hair, quite cool, used to be a dweeb Calvin oh, Harris. Calvin Cal- Harris, yeah. He said he quit he went teetotal at twenty four, not because he was an alcoholic, just because it was getting in the way. And I, 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 I feel that there's a few people that um, I get it it's getting in the way for me it's getting in the way the, what was the there was an actor he's in I was reading an, an interview with him I think Stephen Moyer he's in he's in True Blood he's one of those mm. he's an English actor yeah. but I think he said that he, he went teetotal because when he was training in drama school he'd just get smashed yeah and do that as a young man as well yeah and then um yeah, he had to quit because it was getting in the way. Yeah, do I can see. I could do. I can definitely see it getting in the way. But also, yeah, I think I think there is an element of narcissism there, and like vanity, in that I don't want to drink because it, it'll make me look shit. Yeah, well, and then yeah, yeah. So it ties back into like me putting pressure on myself. Like I don't want to live like a monk. I know. I don't want to live like a monk. To I know. what for what to to look nice? But I think looking nice is tied into feeling nice. But I just need to correct the mental attitude I have. Yeah. to working out and being fit and like being I, like, I feel that there's an element of like body shaming that I think is healthy I think if you're overweight and it's affecting your health I think you need sometimes you need to feel shame to be able yeah. to get yourself out of that situation but shaming yourself f- putting yourself down it, that, that well, leads to like that leads to eating disorders you think it's better coming from someone else sort of going listen here you fatty I, I would, sort, sort I, would I would, I would love to say that you're, you're gonna die, like, boy. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what I mean? You're overweight. Yeah, yeah I think, I think, or, or, I think, or you yeah. think it's better you go into yourself being like, I need to sort this out. I think both. I think, I think if you're if you're like overweight, then yeah. Or if you're underweight, if you're not like, it's yeah. such a contentious issue though because you can't. If someone's underweight, no one gives a shit. About you don't, that, you don't want to be like, oh, you need to. You're too thin because then it's like, well, what am I doing? Am I shaming you for being thin? Do generally fucking people used to like, come up to me the entire time and been like, uh, oh god, it was always mothers or dads or older brothers, people who mm-hmm. like, and they'd be like, oh fucking, hell, I want to give you a meal, like you need to eat something. I'd be like, I yeah. do eat constantly. I just am so funny. It's so I don't gain weight, mate. Like, di- different cultures as well. Like my friend, my friend Chris, he's Polish. He's, his family Polish, and he was saying that his. Um, I like Chris. Yeah, he's a good lad. In. Uh, <laughs> I think his grandmother or something in Polish. Um, the 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 direct translation for you've put on weight is oh you've you've fixed yourself. <laughs> so <laughs> which is quite funny. It's like the, the the cultural side of that. Well, they think it's a, it's better. It's a good yeah like yeah you need to put on weight yeah, you fix yourself. It's yeah. like quite funny. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the relationship I have with uh, with the gym is is good. I love it for my personal um, for like my mental health. I think it's hugely important. Yeah. If I don't do it, I feel like. Like, I think it comes down to like being productive with my time. Like if we're doing like this today or like if we're writing together or if like- Inactivity we, we have, we have, we have, destroys like, me, yeah. Yeah, if I'm working on like a like an acting project, which is very, very rare these days. <laughs> very rare these days. But if I'm doing it, if I'm doing something like that, I don't feel the need, the pressing need to be like, mm. get to the gym or unless I'm doing like, unless I'm Why can't playing I, Thor. Well, it, it's- the idea, like, I don't mind people who are like rigged up, mm. and they're just like, yeah, man, I live at the fucking gym. That's why I'm so hench, right? It's the people mm. who go, who who sort of go, I don't fucking even work out. I'm just barrel chested. I'm just absolutely ripped. I'm like, <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you talking? Of, co- of course you do. Of don't course. Be silly. You're, 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 and like, even and like- steroids. Everybody's on steroids. Yeah. yeah Newsflash. Everyone yeah. at my gym. I go to I in, go my, to, in my gym. I caught two boys. Just well, I didn't. I wasn't even. I didn't even catch them. They weren't being discreet. They were just like one of them. There's two lads, and one of them was like, "Yeah, can you just pop this in my ass?" And it was like Shut a syringe. The fuck up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna name drop the gym because it's like, but yeah, it's like it's a bit of a meathead gym. But I thought, yeah, that's just like that's like really really normal. I think I think steroid use is really normal. Even in um, I was watching an interview with Ooh. Dorian Yates, not the author. It sounds like an author. He's a bodybuilder. 
and he oh, was saying, "Oh, this is the guy who I thought." And I was like, "Yeah, this you're is an author." Yeah, 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 actually, yeah. no, he he was, was saying that when when he was in the eighties, he was on like a bit of D ball, which I don't know what it is. When he was in the eighties, what ten years ago? Yeah, exactly. Mad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he was like. He was on a bit of D bowl, but these days he was like the he was on like a whatever milligram dosage, like a small dosage. He was like these days like most women like, like yes. in Instagram yes. like models are on yes. that, on that dose. There's a, and that's what's blowing my mind, mate. Yeah. I mean that's fine. I mean do do what you will. I think I think I'm I, I'm always I don't mind people taking steroids, it's just when they're dishonest about it, because then it creates like an unrealistic goal for young women and young men watching these people on Instagram like oh I want to achieve that well you, they're the not dude. saying they're not saying they're on steroids they should because I, I, I don't think steroids should be a contentious issue I think it is, it's illegal but I'm interested in seeing the human body push to the maximum so you're the kind of guy who goes at the Olympics let everyone take what they want take and what let's, they let's run the 100 metres in 4 seconds yeah. just why not get why not? after it why not <laughs> everyone on everyone just let everyone I on agree it. it's very dangerous because then people will be unregulatedly taking steroids yeah if like you have difficult. like if you have but then but dude but then but dude the, the, the argument of, of oh it's not fair because some people have access to better drugs than others some people have access to better training facilities than yeah. others now yeah that's true it's like it's are like you, are you, you trying to say that the world of athletic and competitive sport isn't a level playing field <laughs> yeah, of course because yeah. that is that's madness astonishing yeah it's like the football players are. it's like, almost like my cricket team <laughs> What? Because we have the best bat that just like launches a ball miles. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Everyone's on level playing. The time has gone off there. All right. Okay. Well, look. I think we, you know, we covered some good topics. Um, very briefly. <laughs> very briefly. We skipped. We skipped. But look, you know, this tattoos. isn't always good. I think it's the second time we've spoken about tattoos. No, uh, it's not. Uh, steroids. Maybe. But look, this is not always going to be a deep dive. It's only big talk. Oh, I keep forgetting that we're a big talk it's, it's, chat show. Yeah, it's only big talk, but... And it, and it is a show. But Yeah, it is a show. But if it is big talk, it doesn't mean deep talk, does it? It just means big. It just means a lot of bluster. And that's my specialty. If you know me, you know I'm a bluster guy. You are a bluster guy. You know I'm a bluster guy. Um, like, well, subscribe. Do you want to wrap up? Yeah. Yeah, you wrap up. I'm not good at the wrapping up bit. It's I'm, bad, isn't it? It's hard. You know what it is. So how do you, how on, do you on, on the Mercedes thing, it's very easy for me to wrap up. And I go like, I'm like, hey guys, thanks, yeah, peace. peace, and, and I leave. And it's very easy because yeah, it's very. And then you got uh, then the theme tune coming in. But yeah, yeah. Well, think about the thing. We put the theme tune now. Coming Start in. bringing the theme tune in now. Yeah. And then um, we may or may not cut to to black.